Good morning, everyone. All my optimism will help me press on to greater achievements of the future. Imagine you had an 80-pound bullet and you have to carry it. Then something comes up, cuts off one of your arms, but you still have to carry the bullet. This is exactly what it feels like to accomplish a goal without optimism. Optimism is a necessary skill to have if you want to succeed in life. It helps people to bounce back from failure and look for opportunities for success. It helps people to believe in their goals. And it helps people to continue on the path of success, no matter how many lemons life throws at them. As Nicholas Butler once said, optimism is essential to achievement, and it is also the foundation for true courage and progress. I haven't made a smartphone or a computer. If you search my name up on Google, you won't get any results. But that doesn't mean I won't ever be successful. Success isn't the same for everyone, and the road to success isn't the same either. But Steve Jobs, Bill Gates, Nelson Mandela, and all the other successful people had one thing in common, optimism. They believed that they could accomplish their goals without, uh, no matter how many obstacles came in their way. Let me tell you my top three things that I would like to achieve in the future. My first is to attend MIT to pursue my passion for engineering. We all know it's extremely difficult to get into this school. I'll have to work a lot, study a lot, and excel in everything I do. But the one major thing I have to do is to remain optimistic. It doesn't matter that only 80% of people who apply to MIT each year get accepted. I have to be optimistic that yes, one day, one day I'll be part of those top 80%. We all will have to face difficulties in life. If I don't get the grade I want for a class, or if I'm just struggling after a hard day of doing everything that needs to be done to get into a good college, I just need to pick myself up, motivate myself, and continue to stay optimistic for the future. My second goal is to make an impact on the underprivileged community. I help my fellow classmates and friends that are struggling in math, but when I help an underprivileged child and help him finish his education, that would be a greater achievement for me. It can be frustrating to tutor a child who doesn't have a goal or drive to learn. And this is where my optimism will help me. It'll help me to forget my frustration and to continue to teach the child. It'll help me to find new creative and innovative ways to teach the child. Helping underprivileged children will not only make their future better, but will also increase my optimism and my confidence to continue to teach more children. My third goal is to be a top-notch motivational speaker. I love to speak, and what better thing to do than something that involves a thing I have a passion for, and something that can better someone else's life. Motivational speakers are people who inspire others. They're people who empower others. They're people who guide others. When I'm a motivational speaker, I can spread messages of goodness. I can motivate people to go green. I can explain to people how to overcome challenges in life, and so much more. I can tell students who are thinking of dropping out of school why it is necessary to get an education, and why it is important to stay in school. My optimism will help me to continue to speak, even if I don't get the response I want from an audience. Even if I motivate only 4 out of 10 people in the crowd, it'll still be an accomplishment for me. My optimism will help me to continue to speak and motivate others until I can get to a position where I can motivate everybody in the crowd. In conclusion, it's extremely important to remain optimistic and fulfill your goals. In the real world, if we have a my turn will come mentality, and if we keep hope in the spirit, We've already won half the battle to success. Martin Luther King Jr. summed up the essence of optimism extremely well. He once said, if you can't fly, then run. If you can't run, then walk. If you can't walk, then crawl. But whatever you do, you have to keep moving forward. You could be the next Steve Jobs or the next Bill Gates. It just depends on whether you take the hardworking optimistic path or the lazy pessimistic path. Which path? Thank you.